Hey lovey lovies, welcome back to my channel. So I was just watching What Would Lizzie Do and you guys know she's one of my favorites here on YouTube and she did the top five makeup palettes. Um, I'm not necessarily a tag, it's a kind of a collab that she's doing with another YouTube guru and um, I just decided I was going to do it because I did my makeup palette collection and yeah, I was going to choose Drugstore, but let's be honest, I love Drugstore. I think Drugstore has some pretty awesome products, but lately I've been just pulling, when it comes to like eye makeup, I've been pulling more towards my higher end brands, so a lot of my Drugstore palettes have been kind of sitting. But I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys now what my top five, that's ten, top five makeup palettes are um, for the current time right now. I'm actually going to be including a couple brand new ones, but I've been playing around with them too, so I'll be doing reviews for them as well. So stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with one of my old faithfuls. I have probably had this palette... I got it probably about three to six months after it was released and it's still one of my favorites. This palette has gone with me from Hawaii to Washington DC. I mean just it travels so well. It's still a palette that's one of my favorites that if I can't think of what to wear I'll just yank the palette out and use it and it is my Naked palette by Urban Decay. I do not have the Naked 2 palette. Um, I actually was going to order it when it was first released, but the Naked 2 palette has cooler shades, whereas Naked 1 has more of the warmer tones. So I really enjoy using this one. A lot of people like Naked 2 better. I just love Naked 1. I probably will not ever spring for the Naked 2. And now that Naked 3 is coming out, um, I'll tell you a story about that, okay? So I went to buy the Naked 3, I got the email, I checked my email just a few minutes after I received it, went onto Urban Decay site and it was like friggin' sold out. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. What are you gonna do though, right? So, Naked 1, um, I was debating whether or not it was this one or Naked Basics that would make my top 5. And I still chose the regular Naked Urban Decay just because, or Urban Decay Naked, Naked Basics, I don't even use all that often. I would still pull this one more because of its gold shades in it. Um, gold is just a great color on my skin altogether. And again, like I said, these are lent towards the more warmer shades, whereas the Naked Basics still have some cooler tones in it um, that I think this one's just better. But yeah, so Urban Decay Naked 1 is number one the next palette I actually picked up months and months ago I believe I got it on hot look um, or hot look um, and I got it at a discounted price so super super stoked oh wait did I get it on that or did I get it from the bomb but anyhow it is the bombs meat matte nude palette and um, it is just as it says, everything in here is nude shades. It's got a giant mirror. And I have been really, really liking this palette a lot lately. So that's why I figured it would make my top five. The shades in here are just universal for me to use year-round with any makeup look that I'm looking at. And it's completely matte, which I like. Um, so definitely, I wasn't sure if I wanted this one or my Nude Tooth palette. I was kind of looking at them side by side going which one but lately I've been pulling towards this one I love my nude tube palette but one of the palettes that are in here I actually did a versus with my nude tube palette and um, that palette is still better in my opinion and so I thought this one was awesome so this so is the next two. palette I have is fairly new um, if you guys watch me on my old channel I just hauled it within the last month and a half I think but this palette, as much as I love my neutrals, I still like to kick it up with a little bit of pop of color. And this palette actually offers that for me. And it is the Kat Von D Spellbinding Palette. Um, you guys would have seen this before. 
it is just awesome it has a lot of neutral shades in here that you can build up golds browns shimmer colors but it also has like great purples in here a nice red uh, shimmery black teals all kinds of different colors in here it is well worth the price that um, they charge I think this was like $52 um, for it but you get mattes, you get shimmer, you got a great highlight color here, which you can tell it's like all dusty and dirty. Um, and then you can layer the colors together. They're paired together so you can layer them. But I just think that this is an awesome palette. And those of you that like a little bit of color but love neutrals more, I think this is just still a very good versatile palette for you to have. And again, this is the Kat Von D Spellbinding Palette. The packaging in itself is just super, super cute because this was actually drawn by her. But the colors in here are very, very awesome. It is kind of cumbersome to kind of carry around. But if you're going to keep it at home and not travel, this is definitely a great go-to. My fourth palette I chose is another brand new haul. I went through all of my old palettes. And if you guys have watched my makeup palette collection for my higher end brands, would have seen I had quite a bit to choose from but I started looking at some of the ones that would be more universal for me to use and I came up with my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette for one the packaging itself just screams honey I love the purple the marbleization look from it and then inside you have all of these colors you do have a fair range of nudes some bright colors like you have right here or right here um, that you can just create any makeup look that you want. I think the palette itself just offers you the great collection for you to do smoky eye. There are mattes in here, a few matte shades, like one or, or is there two or three? It looks like there's two matte shades here. Ambush is turning out to be one of my favorite colors right here. It's just a great everyday all over the lid color or slightly blended into the crease. But the palette itself is just awesome and well worth the money. Last but not least, and this is probably my all-time favorite palette. Um, I've used it in many, many of my tutorials. It's something I consistently go to. And since I hauled this this year, if I do any traveling, this will probably replace my naked palette and be a palette that I'll be traveling with consistently. I love Lorac um, products and um, I just think they're awesome. And it is the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, this palette is awesome. It's got a full roll of matte shades on the top and then shimmer shades on the bottom. The shade range is just great because they have like a great purple here. Um, just a great range of shades, pigmented, buttery, super awesome. I love this palette. It is definitely one of my all-time favorite palettes. It is one of those palettes I've explained in one of my videos where I actually kind of take my makeup in the living room sometimes to do because the lighting in there is much better. And this is a palette that just kind of goes with me wherever I go in the house. It is just one of my favorites and I absolutely love it. So that is my top five. It was super difficult to actually narrow that down um, to my five favorite palettes, but I was able to. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to see what your guys' top five favorite palettes are a mix of drugstore, what have you. And I'm actually going to link Lizzie's video down below. Like I said, I. Um, she mentioned doing a collab, but I was running around. I tend to watch videos when I'm like cooking dinner or washing dishes. I run back and forth and um, I was running around and I kind of missed who she mentioned. But um, I'll put Lizzie's video so you can check. If you guys aren't subscribed to her already, definitely subscribe. I mean, she has a ton of subscribers because she's that awesome. She's funny, hilarious, down to earth. She just... One of my favorite things that she says is, I'm not going to lie to kick it. So, um, definitely check her out if you haven't already. Although most of the people I know are subscribed to her. So, definitely check it out. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you think of the lighting. I'm kind of trying to adjust stuff so that I can film in my room more. Um, 
yeah so I've been trying to play with different lighting combinations and different bulbs I'm not sure if I nailed it this time or what but yeah I hope you guys are having an awesome day and since I didn't have a Friday favorites today then this is like my favorites <laughs> um because it's like my top favorite things but yeah so I'll see you guys in my next video have an awesome weekend and I'll talk to y'all soon bye